Hello everyone, Joe from Central Jersey, Conrad Leninsky, and welcome back to day four of our operations blowout. So as you can see, I've changed from yesterday, and that is because uh, I went and got a haircut. So uh, yeah, I was getting a little uh, long-haired hippie look. So um, we're back today. Uh, we're going to be running the WJSA 37 Extra. Um, and what that train is, is the uh, extra sand train that runs a block of cars down to Clayton and does services the Clayton facility and then runs back to Brown's Yard. So with that being said, uh, let's get into it. Let's go get our paperwork and our train and uh, start moving out down to Clayton. Okay, so here's our train, the SA37 Extra. Uh, the engine we have today on the point is uh, U25C number 6519. Uh, we have six empty uh, hopper cars to go down to Clayton and we have uh, the box car on the end that has our end of train device. So the crew's already got the train together. They got their initial air brake test done. So let's uh, go over our paperwork so we can get on the road and get our work done. Our form D is C105, dated June 16th, 1988, to C&E, number 6519, crew of the SA-37, circle line two, operate in the south direction on single track between Browns and Toth. So let's give us some movement authority down to Toth. Once we get on the other side of Toth, we'll call up and get our Form D for the final uh, leg of the journey. All right, so let's get moving. Okay, so I forgot to call it out before. Time effective on the fast clock for Form D105 was at 12.05. And dispatcher was JD. Now we're at Toth. We're going to call and we're going to get our next Form D. C106 2 CNE, number 6519. Crew of the SA37. Circle line 2. Operate in both directions on single track between Toth and milepost 65. Um, effective is 12.20. Dispatcher is JD. So now we're going to move the train and pass Patoth and we will uh, cancel our Form DC-105. All right, so we're clear of Toth. So we're going to get cancellation of Form DC-105. And time effective on the cancellation is 12.35. Dispatcher is Desmond. Okay, so first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to, have to uh, cut our engine off and then run around the train. Set a handbrake. Brake when setting the handbrake while the conductor's moving to go operate the turnout. 
Now we'll uncouple the tray. And we're gonna move forward. All right, so we're going to couple and connect. Uh, the brakeman's going to release the handbrake on the rear. He's going to walk forward. Conductor is going to uncouple the car here. Actually, we're going to set another handbrake at the front end. couple. All right, 6519 back up through four car lengths. I'm going to pull that car out of there. And we'll put it on the run around so we can hook onto our empties to go into Clayton. All right, we're going to set the handbrake on that box car. We're going to uncouple. Then we're going to back up. All right, so the brakeman and the conductor are, are the brakeman's going to open the turnout into Clayton. Hmm. Everybody's going to ride down into the pit. Couple and connect. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten handbrakes to uncouple. All right, so to conduct in the brakeman on the uh, caboose. All right, six, five, one, nine, pull back. As you can see, we got some loads in the cars, nice sand loads. So we're going to set, stop right there. We're going to set the handbrake on the caboose. Going to uncouple. All right. Brake was going to stay on the ground so he can operate the turnout. Six five one nine back. You know, back up two car lengths. Brake was going to operate the turnout, lock it for the main. 6519, turnout's locked for the main. Conductor and brakeman are riding on the rear. I'm back up to three, two car lengths. Okay. Brakeman's going to get off, operate the turnout. And we're going to continue back down. All right, so we're going to couple and connect. I'm going to release the handbrake on the box door. All right, 6519. And back up six car lengths. I'm sorry, 6519 is going to push forward. Six car lengths. All 
All right, that's good right there. 6519, we're gonna set a handbrake on the first car. Uncouple. Conductor is going to get on the rear. 6519, back up four car lengths. Alright. Brake was going to move the turnout. Brake was going to move the turnout. Alright, the is going to stay on the rear. 6519, push ahead. Eight, seven car lengths. Alright, we are going to couple and connect. Onto our empty, empty cars. Release the handbrake. Alright, 6519. Back up. 6519 is just going to keep on backing up until I tell him to stop. All right, that's good right there, 6519. All right. So now, I'm back in. We're gonna push forward, four car lengths. All right, we're gonna couple and connect to the caboose. Release the handbrake, handbrake on the caboose. And the conductor and the brake are going to get on the back step of the caboose. 6519. You know, push forward to my mark. Conductor and brakeman are on the rear. Alright, so now we gotta set the handbrakes on all the cars. So we got nine cars. Alright, so we're gonna uncouple the locomotive. Oops. Yeah, we should have let out the slack. Uh, uncouple. And conductor and brake when we get on 6519. And I'll pull out of the pit. Alright. Brake is going to get off and lock the turnout for the main. For Clayton. Let's see that new uh, little sound. There you go, it's locked. Now we're gonna pull forward. Pick up our brakeman. Conductor's gonna get off. Open the turnout for the run around at Lakehurst. Push forward. And we're going to couple, connect, conductor is going to lock the turnout for the main, and 
There we go. And uh, we're going to sit here now. We'll get our paperwork in order. We'll do our air test and wait for the SA31 to get out of our way so we can go back home. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do before I put, let the crew go on break is we're going to update our uh, paperwork here. We're going to take our uh, cars that we dropped off the empties and we're going to pick up our loads. Put these in the bo box. Clip them all together. We're ready for our return trip. All right, so the crew's just going to hang out here and wait uh, until they get clearance uh, to head on back because we still got the SA31 in the way. And then uh, we'll do our air test and uh, so we can be ready to go. And then uh, we'll head out when they tell us we're ready. Okay, everyone, so uh, we are uh, going to do our air brake test. We're going to charge the train line. All right. We set the brakes. Okay, we actually got it to fall. <laughs> Look at that. 38 pounds, pressure too low. Inspect. It says cannot hold air. Walk the train and inspect for defective car. That's uh that's something new that I'd put in there. Never got that before. Alright. Back to air brakes. So, try it again. We inspected it. I can't find it. We're going to charge the train line. All right, we're going to set the brakes. All right, we're holding brake pressure now. 69 pounds on the EOT. Confirmed it at the end of the brake line. 68 pounds. All right, we're going to set our brakes, then we're going to inspect. That's that. We'll release. I don't know why it's not giving me the sounds. All right, now all brake shoes released. Okay, so our air brake test is complete. We're going to call dispatch. We're going to get our uh, Form D to go home. Just don't forget, they canceled our Form D when we uh, got here in the hole. Uh, uh, because they were moving the SA-31 ahead of us. So, um, what we'll do is uh, we're going to do Form DC-1132, CNE-6519, crew of the SA-37 Extra, operate north on single track between milepost 65 and Browns. Time effective is going to be... Time effective is 1801 hours. And dispatcher is JD. Alright, crew's going to get out, brakeman's going to get out and uh, open the turnout. Alright, and we're going to pull forward. I'm sorry, we're going to pull forward this one. Brake was going to line lock the turnout for the main. And we're going to proceed on back to Browns.
All right, so the Yardmaster wants us to put our train on track 10. So we're going to pull on down. Okay, so we're on track 10. We're going to take cancellation from our form D. It's going to be uh, 1845 hours. Dispatcher is Desmond. We're going, to, uh, we're going to take our power to the house. A couple. And we'll put it right there under the sand tower. Okay, so there's day four, the uh, SA37 Extra. So uh, we left out of Brown's Yard like uh, around noontime, and we're back by uh, 645, so that's not bad. Uh, overall, it went really well. Uh, the U25C, the new one, is uh, running really good. Um, uh, we're going to put it out, the cars on track 10, and we'll leave it for the yard crew. They'll go ahead and run it through the scale and clear those way in transit cards. And uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise, it was a good run. Um, you know, we had to cancel our Form D down there on the Lakehurst runaround because they needed track uh, to put the SA-31 on uh, so they can get the 35 going down the, to Browns. But uh, we, we did it, and, uh, you know, just another continuing uh, example of how you juggle around uh, track authority to get trains moving uh, when you can. So Yeah, so tune in tomorrow, uh, day five of the Ops Blowout for the SA-35, and we'll show you how that works out. And uh, otherwise, that's all I have for you today. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, leave me your likes, your dislikes, your comments, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.